Good, beautiful morning, everybody. Silas back again today, and it is finally a decent day. It's super, super windy out there. That's why I'm up in here hiding from the wind, is how I can kind of get away from it, and it doesn't static my mic out. But Terry is here. We're going to load up a load of cabs. I'm not sure what he's going to get today, and then I'm not sure what else we're going to get into today, but it's going to be a busy day for sure. Hold up. Before we actually go on, there's going to be a bunch of really cool stuff today. There's going to be old trucks. There's going to be old cars. Whatever your favorite vehicle from today is, be sure to let me know in the comments what it is.
And with that, Terry is gone. And I didn't know what else I was going to do today. I've got so much to do, I can't see straight. But I guess Sean is going to be going to a little town called Harper and picking up an old GMC there. He asked if I want to ride along, give him some help uh, loading it up on his trailer. It's not for me, it's actually for Terry, the guy that was just here. I actually saw the truck on Facebook, thought about buying it, didn't buy it. I guess I should have bought it because Terry really wanted it. <laughs> Go figure. The ones I buy, Terry doesn't want. The ones I don't buy, Terry does want. So, But anyway. I thought, you know what, why not? I'll just go with him, be kind of a fun video. Let me get out of the wind so you guys can hear me again. But uh, it's gonna be super windy out there. I won't be able to talk. And like I say, it's not my truck anyway, but maybe we can have some fun. Maybe we can see some cool stuff on the way. When you're on the road, you get some fine dining. A little bit more.
and welcome back guys it is monday now friday was crazy as i mentioned earlier i went with sean to go look at those trucks he was buying them for terry and just to be clear terry is the guy that buys stuff from me but anyway terry had heard about those trucks on facebook we went and looked at them terry decided he didn't want both of them he wasn't there but sean called him kind of told him about them he decided he just wanted the gmc now i had seen those on facebook once before but the prices were kind of high on them i couldn't quite afford to buy them and still make any money on them but terry wasn't even super interested in the gmc but Sean made him an offer on it and it was quite a bit less than his asking price and he had been firm on the price two weeks earlier. So he went ahead and bought the GMC, we got it loaded, but I got to thinking, you know what, if he's willing to negotiate on the GMC now, maybe he's willing to negotiate on the uh, International and because before he wasn't. So I thought, you know what, I'll probably never see the guy again. I might as well just throw a number out there. So I threw a low number out there and he counter offered at $100 more than that. So I thought, Psh for that price, I can't pass it up. So I went ahead and paid them for it, got the title and keys for it. We get back to the yard. I was thinking about grabbing my trailer and going back and getting it, but they were working on replacing that water line. And so I started helping with that and we just decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and get this done. And so we're out there and then the weather changes, the wind shifted out of the north, temperature dropped about 30, 40 degrees almost instantly. We had 50 and 60 mile an hour wind gusts. We had dirt blowing everywhere. It was insane. But we got that entire water line trenched, got a new water line put in, got it all hooked up, got it completely done. We were out there till almost 10 o'clock at night before we finally were done with that. So by the time I got home, I was exhausted. So anyway, I've been here at the yard working all morning, crushing cars, processing cars, that sort of stuff. I'm done here now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in my truck, get me something to eat, go get my trailer. Sean's gonna meet me there. We're gonna head back out there, get that international. And we made it back. I got the trailer unhooked from my truck. I'm not gonna unload this tonight. I'll unload it later because I wanna be able to roll it off the trailer so I don't bend the drive shaft because I think somebody will buy this whole truck just because you don't see the, this is probably about the smallest international truck that International made at this point in time. So it's really got a lot of potential going for it. It does have a little bit of rust in it. Back here on the back of the cab. And I think, yeah, a little bit there. Not, not too bad though. And there's a little bit up here in the front somewhere, I think. And then up here along the front, I think around the headlight or somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. So not too much rust really. I mean, it does have a little bit. It's gonna need some repair, but it's all there. The interior in this truck is pretty nice. Obviously the seat's no good, but the rest of the truck is pretty clean. It's got a pretty good dash in it. The floors aren't all, aren't all rusted out, that sort of stuff. So yeah, hopefully I can find a home for this one. I don't really want to part it out, don't really want to chop it up. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So we'll give it a shot, see if we can find a home for it. If not, then that'll make a pretty cool wall hanger. And I know you cannot see me because it is pitch black out here. It is late at night right now. I've gotta hurry up and just go ahead and get home. It's kind of overcast right now and kind of hazy out. So even the moon's hiding back there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This was a completely impromptu adventure. I did not plan on going and getting this truck or helping Sean get that other truck at all. But you know what? I'm always down for those unexpected adventures. Sometimes those are the most fun. On the way to get this truck, we spotted an old, uh, I think it's a Grumman box van. And uh, I wrote down the address. I'm gonna send him a letter, see if I can get that bought. More than likely it's not for sale, but never hurts to ask. Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go with that. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Remember to get out there and find an adventure, even if it's an unexpected adventure. We'll see you next time.